fucking uh, BC. That is too, I, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, and as someone who's a big, big fan, I think they should be grounded. That's way too many in recent history. That's like two or three in the last couple of years. That is yeah. too much. Um, yeah. And this one landed into a house. Like, Jesus. Like, the, the plane done. landed right in front of the house, and the, and the guy, uh, his, because when he ejected, he was, the plane was already coming down, so instead of the ejecting up, he went, like, straight across and slammed into the roof of the fucking house, and apparently he has died. Yeah, those ejector seats are a gamble, man. I wouldn't trust those. But, yeah, uh, yeah I, I love the Silverbirds. I love them since I was a kid. I'm a big plane dude. I think planes are awesome. Uh, I was in Air Cadets. <laughs> um, but this is too much. Like it's just too many of these happening. And it's, it's just a lost kind of a art form. You know, it's not really necessary. I don't think people get that excited about it anymore. I'm probably wrong about that. I usually am. Actually, it wasn't the pilot that died. It was the public affairs officer that died in the crash. The pilot survived. Still too many deaths and snowboards in the same sentence. I I agreed. I agree. Uh, It sucks. It does suck, but um, I, it was right after takeoff, too. Well, it's usually not before. <laughs> oh, but like literally, like they have just taken off, and all of a sudden he just veered off to the fucking left, and like, what the hell is he doing? And just sort of kept going, and then it stalled out and straight down to a nosedive. Yeah, that's the thing about like stunt flying. You gotta think like, because at first everyone probably thinks you're just trying something. Yeah. <laughs> What's he trying? I don't know. Let's watch. Oh, he's hitting that mountain. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, it would just say, you know, it's like like when John Ritter died and everyone thought he was kidding. Because he's yeah. just like that funny. <laughs> yeah. That <laughs> sucks. Same thing with like stunt pilots. Oh, he's trying a new stunt. No, I think he's spiraling out of control. Oh, well, let's wait and see. <laughs> oh, Damn it. you were oh. right again. <laughs> three this week they, they were a very cool organization I don't know that they still are I know it's still like ex-military and stuff so it's still cool but I yeah I miss their really flyover a, here I miss their flyover in Ontario it's, it's, it's just the way it's the 21st century we don't have circuses we don't have sight men we don't have you know like Super Dave wasn't cool anymore Oh, I miss Super Dave so much. Um, stunt pilots, like circus acts, like they'll never be another Siegfried and Roy. Once that's dead, they're dead. You know, that kind of that's shit just, you don't need it anymore. It, it kind of sucks, but it's old world stuff. And I don't yeah. want to see any more people die to entertain. You know, that's just, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth when, like, you, you die entertaining me. That's, yeah. That Unless if you're a magician and doing a trick that's, that that I'm fine with that. You're putting yourself in that stupid situation. Fuck you. Oh, especially if you're Chris Angel. <laughs> like I would pay to watch Chris Angel fucking do himself in. <laughs> yeah, I I I don't think I would complain about that at all. Really. I would like to see David Copperfield kill Chris Angel with David Blaine. Oh wow! Like use David Blaine as a weapon. And then all three of them climb into a rocket and burst into the moon, and then the moon explodes and spells the end. <laughs> I, I could, you know what? I, I I fully support that. Where is David Copperfield? What happened to he's that old. dude? He's, he's old. old but yeah. He doesn't have to disappear. He was cool. He was cool as shit when I was young, and he dated hot chicks. Oh, yeah, he did. I don't know how that works. You know, magicians are cool, but I guess it's magic, so. <laughs> They're just all creepy weirdos. Yeah, there's no denying. Um, now, this is something I just happened to see, because I just, I don't know, I just find it funny. Um, we all know how Trump talks about people. Well, Nancy Pelosi is now being accused of fat shaming Trump because she called him obese. <laughs> well, he definitely hasn't lost weight since he became president. <laughs> <That's> for sure. <laughs> I don't think 
I just don't think it's really in Skeletor's ballpark to fat shame anybody, but <laughs> um, I don't know. I wouldn't put it past her really when she's talking about him. Like she genuinely hates him. Like it's oh, not a, it's not a political that, thing. She really really hates him. Yeah, completely and totally. So probably she did, and probably so what. Yeah. All she said was that uh, when asked um, about because this uh, Trump was just whatever talking shit about everybody. Um, she just goes, um, uh, especially in his age group and in his, well, shall we say, weight group, morbidly obese, they say. <laughs> He's not skinny. She's not wrong. <laughs> if you go by that thing, then, yeah, it's true. He is technically morbidly obese. Are we really that offended by, like, to defend the guy who said we should grab him by the pussy? Yeah, we exactly. Grab him by the pussy, really, and he's upset that someone said he was obese. The guy who <laughs> on national television as president called Rosie O'Donnell a pig. A fat pig. <laughs> or Miss Piggy. <laughs> like, that's... And it means, uh, you you don't get to have feelings after that. Like you put yourself, you set the bar. As yeah. the president, this is the bar you've set, and that's <laughs> how people talk in your country now because of you. You don't get to cry about it now. Sorry. <laughs> Just like if someone, if if considering Polinsky or if Trump keeps calling her crazy, you know what I mean? Like I'm just, Oh, she absolutely is. Yes. She so is being called that is crazy. Big deal. <laughs> but it would be like if some transgender person came up to me on the street and said, hey, I listen to your podcast. You're an asshole. And I, I what do I say? <laughs> really? I'm going to sue you. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> uh, thanks it's for listening. Problem. But yeah. I don't think he will bend over shape about it. No, exactly. Fuck off. You can't defend Trump. He's Trump. <laughs> Oh, like, that, that, that sick woman. She's got lots of problems. That chick, is, that girl, is, that woman is crazy. <laughs> she does, and she totally looks like Skeletor. Yes, but she does. Yeah. My powers are beyond your understanding. Um, that's Skeletor. And old. Um, yeah. Who cares? Whatever. It's American politics. You think that's the worst he's going to hear between now and November? <laughs> yeah, I highly doubt it. Talk well, about Buttercup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah so there's that I have another one but I haven't read it so I don't really know what the whole thing is about another one. that's my that favorite one you've told so far <laughs> the Polsky one <laughs> no the one after that that you just read, that that I, read <laughs> I haven't read I just saw the headline but I haven't read it yet that's the best one <laughs> fuck yeah. America I'm just I'm really I'm going to have such a, once we're up and running, COVID-free and internet problem solved, I am going to have a very anti-American couple of weeks on this show. I just hate that they're attached to our ass anymore. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm gonna, I was going to talk about something with Trump, but I don't want No, to. please do. Do you want me to? Do? Oh, no, I just closed it. Fuck it. I don't care. Oh, I don't care. Uh, I'm not going to get anti-American until, like I said, when we're when we're when it's time. <laughs> yeah, it was just it was just a dumb thing where where the headline is saying Trump Trump is proud to say that people died in America. No, I mean yes, he kind of did, but basically he's just saying that uh, with the although America is leading the world with the most deaths by for COVID. By like a landslide. <laughs> we're number uh, one. We're number one. He says he's saying, "Well, this is a good thing because it shows that we're testing more." Yeah, that's what he said. He didn't say, "I'm proud that we're dying, all dying." That's not what he said. He just said it shows that we're testing more. I this whole COVID thing is mind-boggling in so many different ways. Um. Still in Canada, 2,000 people every year die from vehicle crashes, 1,500 from COVID. Nobody cares about the vehicle crashes. That blows my mind. I don't get that. That's every year. That's acceptable yeah. death. We won't, yeah. we, we won't lower the speed on highways. 
So that's acceptable. Those 2,000 people a year that die on our highways, that's acceptable to us. But this 1,500, we had to shut down the fucking world. I don't understand it. I will never make sense of it in my mind. I don't get the, that why I don't understand what's going on and it really, really bothers me. Mm-hmm. I will never fully understand it. I don't think we're supposed to, but I don't get why all the other deaths this year are just acceptable. And these ones are so tragic and terrible. Yeah. And you could say, well, you would understand if you knew one of them. Yeah, no, guess what? I'm from the downtown east side. I moved to the downtown east side with fentanyl. Yeah. I get that it's sad when people, you know, die. Trust me. I watched 12,000 of them go. Um, nobody cares about those ones. No. Nope. Um, still, uh, to this day, there's uh, like it's one in 12 are still dying. Nobody's even talking about them. It's all COVID. I don't get it. I don't understand why COVID is so important. The 8,000 people that are going to die of the flu don't matter. Mm-mm. No one's even protecting them. I, if I was in an old folks home right now with the flu, I would be fucking choked. Give me COVID so someone pays attention to me, God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. I don't understand. It yeah. just blows me away. Um, and Trump, whatever. Here's the thing. Everything Trump says is going to be misquoted from now on. Well, from now till November, at least. At, at the very least, yeah. And nothing he says matters anyway. So it doesn't matter what he says. It doesn't matter what they say he said. It's just, it's all irrelevant crap that comes out of that man's face. <laughs> And there's so much. His fat, fat face. <laughs> His obese, morbid, fat face. There you go. Nancy, I'm doing this for you. <laughs> That's just funny. Oh, my God. God, I would uh, love to get him on the podcast. Oh. Oh, that'd be great. You know what I'd call him the whole time? Fat Trump. Fat Trump. I would like <laughs> you guys to meet our guest. I can't believe he came on the show. This is Fat Trump. Don't call me that. How's it going, Fat Trump? How's being fat, fatty? <laughs> What's up there, fatty McFat Fat? <laughs> I never thought I'd see the episode where Gord looks thin, but holy shit. <laughs> Take that, Fat Trump. Um, <laughs> Americans... I'm trying to say Trump's fat. It's not news. He's a big, no. fat, fatty. Rich, most, lots of rich people are fat because they can afford to be. That's just it. They they eat better than us and more often. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, here's some random news. Uh, in Af- in uh, Afghanistan, there was a an attack on a hospital where a guy went in um, – uh, this happened in, I guess it was last week. I'm reading about this one. Uh, apparently, some dude went in, killed 24 people, in, including 16 mothers, uh, when some gunmen went and opened fire on a maternity ward in Kabul last week. I um, I don't have anything to base this on, and I don't. I want to tread lightly because you know me. I don't like to be politically incorrect on this show. Mm-hmm. I think some people in Afghanistan are crazy. I think so too. Just a couple. But one of the, but one of the interesting things is, is there is a newborn baby who got shot twice during this and survived. Was he black? Brown, technically. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> There's no American cops in Afghanistan, and look how things work out. <laughs> Those guys, I don't know why we pay attention to them at all. I don't know why we still have troops there. I don't know why we're signing fake peace treaties with them. Just fucking leave them alone. Let them destroy themselves. Yeah. These are sick, weird people. The baby's mother died, but the baby survived. That sucks. And the baby will probably have a tragically short life because it has no mother. And it's in yeah. the worst place in the world. I know it's 
technically South Sudan, but Afghanistan.